What's up, guys? It's your girl, Poppy Britt, and welcome back to the Platicando con Poppy podcast. We are on episode three, so that means we're three for three. So, hey, I'm giving myself a pat on the back because that means I've been consistent for three fucking weeks, which, hey, that means a lot. Mind you, it is 1230 at night right now, a.m., 12.30 a.m. basically. I just got done working a double and I have been working every single day because I'm going to be in Puerto Rico on Friday. And so I've been working every day. I've been going to the gym and I've been trying to prioritize what needs to be prioritized. So I have yet to get to making this podcast. So here I am after a double recording this shit. So I I'm a little proud of myself right now because I said, La Niña Quería Podcast, so aquí estamos, okay? I am going to be honest, I did take a shot or seven because it is Sunday Funday, okay? And if you know me, you know I love me a Sunday Funday. And considering I've been working so much, I really have not been going out <laughs> like I used to. And I'm like, I'm just in a good mood. And I knew... That after working a double and getting my ass beat all day, I just had no energy to sit here and try to record a podcast. So I was like, let me take a shot or seven and we're going to we're going to record a fun podcast. I told myself I was going to record a fun podcast. I already knew that because, look, I promise you, this isn't just going to be me sitting here fucking crying. OK, the first two were emotional. I get it. We're cool. But that's not all I am. Okay, I'm actually fun. Me, not me trying to prove I'm fun. I'm actually fun and I'm actually cool. All right? I'm sensitive, but I'm cool. So, I wanted to actually do like a fun podcast. I feel like this is one that like both guys and girls will tap into because anytime I have a discussion like this on my Instagram, everyone taps in and it's always funny to see like the different perspectives, especially from the guys because they seem to act like they don't give a fuck, but they do. So today we're going to be talking about red flags. I've had this topic in my head like all week. I just haven't been able to like actually sit down and record because your girl's been busy, okay? But I've been thinking about red flags because Kiki Palmer, her little mans decided to come out and talk shit about what she was wearing and it just made me realize that not only have I been there and, like, entertained dudes that have something to say about what I wear, but also just, like, different red flags that come up in men that I just run away from. That being one of them, but we're going to get into it, okay? So, today, like I said, we're going to be talking about red flags, and my credentials here are that I am a recovering dumb bitch, okay? So I'm working on bettering myself, but I have always loved me a red flag, okay? <laughs> I, oh my God, I see a red flag and I'm like, ooh, pretty shiny. I want that. But now I've realized, I now I stop myself from actually pursuing them because I know 99% of the time I'm going to get my feelings hurt. And I just cannot afford to get my feelings hurt anymore. But I'm going to tell y'all the red flags that when I see them, I am running away. Okay. <laughs> Black deleted. I'm running away because I'm not doing that shit anymore. Okay. Prefacing this. It's not an argument. Okay. Because anytime I post some of these things on my Instagram, it becomes a whole argument and people want to write theses about why I'm wrong or why I'm right or whatever the fuck. This is not one of those moments, okay? Especially when it comes to the men. I'm not here to argue, okay? Your opinion does not matter. I'm speaking from my experience and I don't want worst case scenarios. I don't need devil's advocates. I don't need any of this shit, okay? This is my opinion and you're just going to have to sit here and listen. Because I'm right, you're wrong. Not only am I a recovering dumb bitch, but I'm also a Capricorn. So, mind you, 99% of the time, I knew what the fuck I was doing. I just was being a dumbass, okay? And sometimes, la gente se pendeja, okay? I used to, like, tolerate back in, like, in college, okay? When I was younger. When I was, like, 20, 21, 22, okay? I'm older now, I'm wiser, and I like to think that I'm not that stupid anymore. 
but uh <laughs> but anyways anyway let's get back to the topic all right first red flag off the bat any man that does not have a job or a car believe me i have actually given chances to men that don't have jobs or cars mostly not cars they'll be like oh my car's in the shop their car is never in the shop. Their car is non-existent. Okay? Same thing if, like, they're saying they're between jobs, whatever. Like, I need your, I need an email from the job telling me your start date because I have been working since I was 14 years old. Have had a job ongoing since then. Multiple jobs most of the time ongoing since then. Why do you as a grown man not have a job? There's absolutely no reason. I'm sorry, but no. If you don't have a job or a car, you have better things to focus on, okay? Don't talk to me. You have other priorities, baby, okay? Good for you. Get your life together. Any man that tells me that he's working on himself, keep working on yourself over there. Far away from me, okay? That's, that's number one. Number one red flag, if a man says he is working on himself doesn't have a car a job or his own place out bitch that's bare fucking minimum and those are things i have for myself if you can't bring that to the table then you're out you're not adding value to my life second red flag is any man that doesn't invest in you que me digan interesada que me digan lo que quieran decir pero no any man that's like immediately tells me like oh i'm just trying to chill like let me come over isn't trying to invest any kind of money in me. I'm sorry, but no. Que me, like I said, que me gane interesada, que me gane lo que quieran, but I've realized that the man that actually wants you is going to invest time, energy, and money in you, okay? So for me, you're taking me on a date. You're spending money. You're taking me on multiple dates, okay, bitch? Because I've realized that if a man wants you, he's gonna invest in you, Okay? Any man that hits me up and is like, oh, I'm trying to chill, blocked. Okay? Blocked. Because I'm not trying to chill. I don't have time to chill. Time is money, bitch. Okay? If I'm not spending my time bettering myself physically, emotionally, mentally, if I'm not spending my time at work or with my family or people that actually love and care about me, then no. I'm not spending time with someone that just wants to chill. I don't have time to chill. The third one is a very, very simple one, but I'm running away. And it's any man that calls or refers to a woman as a female. I'm sorry, but no. As someone that's educated, as someone that has their bachelor's degree, I just can't accept that. I'm sorry, but I am way more than a female. Female is way too close to female dog to me. And female dog is way too close to a bitch to me, okay? Female can be anything. A female dog, a female cat, a female cow, a female something, okay? When a man refers to a woman as a female, I just hear them objectifying them. I can't do it. I don't care. There's no justification. If you can't refer to a woman as a woman... You're not the man for me. Oh my god, this just reminded me of that too, but a man that can't even spell women and it spells women as women like woman like don't doesn't know the difference between women and women. Compa, educate yourself. I feel like that's just a nick. That's not even a red flag, that's just an egg. Another red flag. Any man that fears having daughters or says something bad about having daughters. I've seen those videos of like when they have gender reveals and the man or not even a man because you're not a man at that point. The fucking dumbass gets upset because the baby is going to be a girl. Red flag. Red fucking flag. Any guy that says that he doesn't want wa- any guy that says he doesn't want daughters is a red flag to me because he doesn't value women. He doesn't value girls. He doesn't value femininity. And I just don't care to entertain anyone like that. Anyone that just sees women as objects. Because half the time, 99% of the time, their fucking reasoning is because they don't want to have to deal 
with their daughter making an OnlyFans or their daughter doing this or their daughter doing that, which is usually something sexual or them getting their karma for being fucking hoes or for them to have to see their daughter be treated the way they treated women. Count me out. And I also don't want to reproduce with a man that doesn't want to have daughters. What if we do have a daughter, bitch? Then what are we doing? You're going to be a fucking weirdo. I just can't afford to to take that, that risk or that cost. Absolutely the fuck not. And the second thing that comes with that, another red flag, is any man that's homophobic. Any man that doesn't believe in gender fluidity and any man that doesn't believe in in trans individuals any man that doesn't believe in people being queer any of that because that could be our kids and i can't afford to have a homophobic transphobic whatever the fuck else partner mind you i i understand that a lot of these topics are very sensitive topics but these are things that like like i said are red fucking flags for me and i will run away because especially for me I am an ethnic studies major, double minor in sociology and women's studies, okay? So if that doesn't tell you the kind of person I am, then I don't know what will. But these are things that, like, I just, I can't look away from, okay? And I I know that a lot of the people that listen to me are people that are like-minded, like me. So, like I said, if you see these and have the same beliefs as me, then just run away because these kind of people will just are not worth your time okay the next one is anyone that's jealous or manipulative and this brings me back to like the the kiki palmer point where her boyfriend or partner or whatever the fuck he was baby daddy was talking about how the way she was dressed and mind you i've had multiple men that i give the time of day and then they end up being very jealous and manipulative about what I wear, what I post, and what I do. Mind you, these are men are I'm, I'm like actively in a relationship with. I understand fundamental like respect and boundaries and shit. But if you met me like this, then I don't understand why you have a problem. Okay? Like that's my thing. A lot of the men that I eventually like end up having to cut off are men that have an issue with what I post what I wear and what I do after they've pursued me for those same reasons a lot of these men will pursue me because they like how I look they like the image that I present myself as they like what I wear and whatever else but then they try to like minimize me and make me small and like contain me after they've got me and like become super jealous and manipulative after they already knew what they were getting themselves into, okay? That's telling me you're insecure. That's telling me that you know that I can find someone better. And personally, like, I don't care to be involved with anyone that's going to come into my life and try to make me feel small, try to minimize me, or change me. I have a lot of very attractive girlfriends whose partners are the same fucking way. Like, they get into relationships or get pursued by men, and then these men try to fucking change or minimize them. I'm like, why do these men pursue women that they're fucking jealous of or that they know that they're going to be trying to belittle because they're trying to get them on their level like why are you trying to pursue me if you know you're gonna try to get me to a point where you feel like i'm less than you or will you try to manipulate me like we're not gonna do that okay when you tell me to stop doing something i'm gonna do a time stand why because you knew what you were getting yourself into so anyone that's like super jealous and manipulative i will run away if you i've had men that immediately start having an issue with me having even a podcast or a tiktok or going live or whatever the fuck else and i'm like you literally knew what you were getting yourself into you followed me and saw this shit you saw my instagram pictures and you saw this shit like no immediate red flag i'm walking away if you have an issue with what i'm wearing then you're not the guy for me because this is my style this is what i feel comfortable in and i get like i know i'm gonna have men in my dms like it's all about respect and it changes when you're in a relationship and blah 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 blah. 
what i realized is that like my other half the person that is my equal won't have an issue i've had men that have issues with me having guys as friends i've had men that have issues with me being sociable whatever the fuck else the guy that i eventually end up with is not going to have an issue with that because they're going to be my equal and they're going to be equally comfortable within themselves to also be able to have platonic friendships with women and respect women i want them to be friends with my girlfriends and respect my girlfriends i want them to be able to be around my girlfriends and be respectful to them i want them to be able to have a social media and still be respectful the whole delete your social media once we start dating shit no that means that you can't contain yourself enough that you have to delete all your social media and close yourself off from literally everyone else because you can't fucking trust yourself no thank you next one is any guy that doesn't believe in astrology this might sound stupid or whatever the fuck else but this is big to me because i'm big on spirituality i'm big on astrology and any guy that tries to minimize my knowledge on that or tries to make me sound stupid or crazy or anything like that red flag because for me it's a very important it's very special and it's part of who i am i'm very spiritual and i'm very much into astrology horoscopes and all that shit i don't need you to know your sun moon rising venus any of that but i don't want you to make me seem crazy because i believe in it i want someone that's open-minded and willing to fucking learn okay because for me i know that all this shit is real if i'm crazy and if i sound crazy to you then i'm not the one for you okay but don't try to change or minimize what I know and what I believe in because you don't understand it. Any guy that makes me sound crazy or stupid or, or like rolls their eyes when I talk about astrology, red flag, goodbye. Any guy that isn't confident and that is self-deprecating and just fishes for compliments or tries to like act humble even though you know they're cocky ass motherfuckers is not the guy for me i want someone that knows what they bring to the table and that isn't constantly fishing for compliments because that's someone that wants you to give them validation which also means that they want validation from anybody not just you another thing that goes with that is any guy that's not confident or that doesn't invest or take care of himself because that's not a guy for me okay I'm someone that takes care of myself. I invest a lot of time, effort, money into myself. And I need a guy that does the same. I get it. Like, there's a lot of guys that will be like, well, I work in construction. I work long days and I have to do this and I have to do that. And I don't have time to get a haircut. And I don't have time to take care of my nails. And I don't have time to do skin. Bitch, I work a lot. And I do a lot of shit, but I still take the time and energy to invest into myself. And so if you're pursuing an individual, a woman that's attractive, that invests time, effort, money into herself, then I expect you to do the same. Point blank period. We all have the same 24 fucking hours, okay? Excuses are the tools of the incompetent. I'm bringing it back, bitch. Because personally, I don't care to date a guy that doesn't see himself as someone that's worth investing into i want a guy that takes the time to invest into himself physically emotionally mentally that's willing to learn that's wanting to better to himself that goes to the gym that works on eating healthy that gets his hair done that gets his nails done because if you don't get your nails done or take care of your nails and you have dirty ass nails. Shit is not going anywhere near me, okay? Red flag if he doesn't do any of that. I need I need a fresh cut. I'm sorry, but I do. Any guy that sees taking care of himself as a weakness or as femininity or as something he doesn't need to do is not a guy for me. Red flag. There's so many other things that I could think of right now. So many other red flags. But I think my last one. For right now it's gonna be any guy que no es detallista because like any guy that isn't romantic because look for me i'm a romantic i'm a hopeless i'm a hopeful romantic okay but i need a guy que es detallista i need a guy that plans dates i need a guy that buys flowers i need a guy that opens doors i need a guy look 
immediate red flag if a guy lets you walk down the street on the left hand side of the street and isn't on your left to cover your you from traffic and isn't watching out for you when you're fucking walking immediate red flag any guy that doesn't know that rule wasn't raised properly okay cualquier guy that isn't detallista that isn't thoughtful that isn't learning small things about you that isn't willing to buy you five dollar ten dollar flowers or chocolates or invest in you and figure out the little things that matter to you that's not a guy for me okay immediate red flag i'm walking away si me dice que no es detallista like this is how i am like i'm very laid back like i don't care about that shit well bitch i do so go find a bitch that wants bare minimum that's willing to accept bare minimum because no i want someone that does the most okay anyways i feel like i could go on about this topic forever those are some of my like i think those are my main red flags that when i see them i'm running away girls and gays let me know what your red flags are and what you run away from right away and we might like i said have to run this back and do another one and for the men do better learn from this okay i've seen and experienced enough of these red flags to know that it won't lead you anywhere okay anyways that's it for today thank you guys for hanging out let me know if you guys enjoyed this video yeah these are my red flags when it comes to men that i immediately cut off immediately blocked immediately we're done because i realized that these are non-negotiables for me for me okay i don't need long paragraphs and worst case scenarios and devil's advocates in my dms okay i don't need that anyways if you made it this far thank you so much for watching I'm gonna be in puerto rico uh for the next two mondays of my podcast so i'm gonna do my best to either record before i go or record while i'm there but no promises and if i don't post just know I'm somewhere drinking mojito, living my best lives. But before you go, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you're on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, give me a five stars. Five stars only, nothing below that. If you're not going to do five stars, don't even bother, okay? Anyways, thank you so much for watching or listening or whatever you're doing. And we'll see you in the next podcast. Cheers.